welcome to Sri Ram Medical College. Today we will explore Expert Insights into the World of Radiology, a comprehensive course at Sri Ram Medical College. Since its inception, radiology has been recognized as a distinctive subdiscipline of medicine fraught with particular technological difficulties. Specialization began with the technical challenges of collecting an X-ray image and, more importantly, exposing, transferring, and developing images on fragile glass plates for future interpretation. Even though there was a push in the early 1900s to categorize radiology as a technological service, radiologists needed to be medically trained in order to evaluate and report on radiographic images. Radiologists must be proficient in image acquisition, general technology, and, more recently, healthcare information technology. The field of radiology has advanced to the point where it is the gold standard for diagnosing many illnesses, and it also plays an integral part in managing treatment and gauging success. Its arsenal of imaging modalities includes a wide range of techniques each of which is based on its own unique set of physical principles. Imaging's high anatomical detail and sensitivity have helped ultra-structural diagnostics, nanotechnology, functional and quantitative diagnostics, and molecular medicine. Modern digital imaging technology allows photos to be promptly processed and edited in post-production and instantly transported worldwide for viewing alongside the transmission hub. Imaging science is advancing at a lightning pace, with new discoveries being made all the time. X-ray technology and practice have grown by leaps and bounds. Radiology covers prostate pituitary, pancreatic neoplasia, bone dysplasia, and prenatal to multimorbid old diseases. Knowledge is too vast for any one person to absorb completely. The referring doctors do, however, require a clinical contact with the imaging expert. The radiologist's ability to contribute value for the referring doctor depends on his or her familiarity with the patient's specific medical situation. The radiologist is anticipated to perform these functions at a higher level and across all medical subspecialties. Consequently, imaging training should follow clinical experience, and specialist clinical specialty training may also be necessary. Instead, imaging risks becoming seen as a subsidiary of clinical specializations, with each field responsible for its own imaging and education, and radiologists influence dwindling as a result. The field of radiology has been at the forefront of these technical advancements, with radiologists evaluating the efficacy of various investigations and actively participating in their creation. Radiologists have honed their understanding of which integrated imaging algorithms will yield the greatest clinical benefit. They have also been in charge of bringing these innovations to the clinic and making the most of available assets and healthcare resources. With the advent of fusion imaging, it will be much more difficult to keep up with the development of imaging technology. Subspecialization in radiology is becoming increasingly important as the discipline develops. In view of the growing diversity of radiological technologies, radiologists in various practice contexts will need to prioritize and balance their areas of skill. With such a high volume of patients, it is impossible for the radiologist to keep up with all of these new developments. Due to advances in picture quality and tissue delineation, pathology may often be depicted without intrusive tissue collection, histology. As there is now more data to work with, it must be interpreted with care and without bias. 
radiologists, who studied anatomy and pathology, may lack physiology and cellular activity understanding as imaging for functional evaluation and cellular activity becomes more prominent. This has led some clinical specialists to conclude that radiologists have not made a significant enough contribution to patient care in their field. So, radiologists must utilize their expertise to the fullest to evaluate clinical concerns using these novel methods. The radiological training curriculum now emphasizes systems and sickness to prepare radiologists for patient encounters. The field of radiology has thrived by anticipating technological shifts and capitalizing on them early. Yet, many radiologists' outlooks and methods of professional training will need to shift to account for the radical transformation and development of radiology. Radiologists, like other medical professionals, must embrace technological advancements if they are to provide the high-quality care that patients need and scientific advancements necessitate. Radiologists are now comfortable with their place in the local health care system, however training programs are repositioning radiology. Finding satisfying work that pays well is not difficult for radiologists. Due to the significant growth in workload and complexity of exams, most countries are short on radiologists, which may reduce their motivation to migrate and update with these advances. By sending images to large centers for quick specialized interpretation, high-speed internet transfer of images may change the need for, and the function of, local radiologists. As a result, the ever-growing discipline of imaging poses a threat to our area of expertise, especially since it has attracted so many people. As the survival of radiology as a medical subspecialty rests on our ability to anticipate and adapt to external conditions, it is imperative that we do so. In some healthcare systems, radiologists work on inpatient referrals to large general, secondary, and university, tertiary, hospitals, where patients don't see them as team members. A more thorough service needs a variety of imaging services, and the patient is more aware of the radiologist's involvement. In various regions of the world, radiologists and radiology professionals may perform and interpret most imaging procedures. Radiologists can now share images through local or remote networks to get specialized opinions in some instances. The interface radiologist reports photographs neutrally since the self-reporting physician may be looking for visuals to support or contradict a clinical diagnosis. Self-referral has been demonstrated to increase the number of radiological procedures, and hence expenditures, making it suboptimal for funding healthcare. Radiologists will also implement radiation safety practices that are becoming increasingly important as the number of patients receiving multi-detector CT scans continues to soar. Surgeons no longer own operating rooms, intensive care units are independent from cardiology, internal medicine, and neurology, and emergency rooms are independent from traumatology. Radiologists can now stay overnight after interventional treatments in some hospitals because beds are no longer reserved for specific specialties. Although radiologists still have sway in the department, this is beginning to change. Other clinical professionals who are trained in imaging should be able to make use of imaging capabilities, and images created in these departments may even be reported remotely. B. Walking Remit Eligibility Criteria 12th class from any recognized board. Students, arts, commerce, science, of any age can apply. A minimum score of 50% in the 12th class.
join Sri Ram Medical College's Bachelor of Vocation in Radiology and Medical Imaging Technology and take the first step toward a successful career in radiology technologist. We are here to assist you in launching your career as a radiology technologist. Call us at 9968193009 for more information about our program or to submit an application right away. Sri Ram Medical College, nurturing next generation of healthcare leaders, and offers all paramedical courses at competitive fee and helps in 100% placement assistance. Admission open. For more information, please visit our website sriramcollege.com and like, share, subscribe, our YouTube channel Sriram Medical College. Good luck, goodbye.